So something that we already kept is fourth quarter, and fourth quarter means the world to us. Just it's, it's a rite of passage. So fourth quarter, suits before the game, just little things like that. We were talking about um, how we go to the movies every Friday night whenever we have a late game. So little, little things like that, traditions that we want to keep. How do you feel like the offensive line is going to come together going into the game? And the offensive line is coming together um, really well. We're we're getting a lot better now that we're getting the scheme down. We're able to work technique a lot more. And when you work technique, we're able to work in the little intricacies as far as communication, passing off games. So the more we play together, the better we get. On the offensive line, who would you say that has improved the most during the spring? Who's improved the most? I want to say probably James Brockemeyer. You know, he's a guy that comes to work every day. He's always worked every day since he's been here. James, um, Jaden Roberts, obviously. You know, so I'm just excited to see how both those guys perform on Ada. I'm very excited to play next to him. I'm blessed to play next to James. James, James is super smart, you know, so he and I are um, racing to make the call first. So I'm, I'm just very excited to play next to him. Yeah. Uh, Rock, uh, he, he, he's doing really well. Since he's gotten on campus, he's always been working to improve, and I'm excited, I'm excited to see how he continues to grow. But he, he did well today. Obviously, Elijah and the other tackles just kind of improved from at this point now with 13. Yeah. Obviously, they're improved by their knowledge of the game. They're picking up on little stuff. And with Pritch, he, he, Pritch is very smart. He just needs to be more confident within himself, and that's what I'm trying to instill into him. I don't know if we talked to you since Caden made it to see him come back. Have you talked to him? And what's kind of feeling about coming back? Um, my relationship with Caden has been the same since, since I started recruiting him. And, um, Nothing's official yet, it was Kate is one of my best friends in the world, so if he does decide to come back, um, I'm, I'm super excited for that. But I, I, Did you re-recruit him this time? Did you have to kind of, you said you recruited him as a freshman. Yeah, I, re I recruited him as a freshman, but like I said, Kate has just been one of my best friends since I've met him, so the relationship has stayed the same. How do you see like this 8A being a lot different now that this is the first time where Coach Saban's not here, is a new era in DeBoer? What do you expect from Saban? Um, I'm, I'm excited to play Alabama football on Saturday. It's the same old, we've got the same standard, same script days in the middle of the field, same script days on our chest. So we're going to play Alabama football. The um, the head coach might look a little different, and the play calls might look a little different, but same at hard nose Alabama football will be played. And, and, and I'm very excited to see how many fans come out. I had pretty good attendance to pass my past two 8 days, but I think it's going to be one of the biggest. I'm very excited to see all the fans this weekend. People. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, people talk about that first crowd for Nick Saban, where yeah. the stadium was packed. Just, is that something you've been talking about with the players, trying to get people to come and be here with us? Yeah, it's something I've been talking about with my teammates, but with my family as well. Like, hotel flights, flights are crazy right now, so I um, try to get them to get flights as early as possible. So just knowing that there's going to be a lot of people here means a lot. Um, just having that support from the fans is what makes Alabama Alabama. We have one of the best fan bases in all the sports worldwide. So I'm very excited to see everybody this weekend. Tyler, you guys have been uh, fortunate to have around 85, 90 plays throughout the scrimmages. How does that challenge you guys with that high tempo to carry you guys? Um, it'll prepare us for the games because there's some defenses that can't get lined up until we're set. So the faster we get set, the the faster we can tempo them in the, the more mistakes that they'll make. So, well, when they're waiting on getting calls from their coaches. So the faster that we line up, the less time we give them to talk to their coaches, especially with the mics in now, that's going to be a big game changer. Yeah, is that, I guess, with the way he is, it's a different from his past for you guys, where he's kind of just used to running that many plays, or with the mics too, like, how is that a little different from your um, we, we've always won a lot of plays during the scrimmage, so it's not completely different. But the way it helps us, it, it, it gets us prepared for the season. You know, so when we're in those shootouts, we'll, we'll be ready for whatever we're facing. With the new coaching staff, new terminology, how has the cadence changed that have you had to adjust and you guys in the offensive line? Is that something that's been difficult or streamlined? Um, it hasn't been difficult, but it's something that we've definitely had to pay attention to. There's a lot of motions going on in the back in the, in the backfield. So last year, the, the cadence was very rhythmic. It was ready, ready. So we were able to time it up a little bit. But this year, you really just have to hold the water because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on, and the quarterback could be faking the clap to get the defense to show their hand as well. So just having to be patient, just really waiting on the clap, but it helps us as offensive linemen as well. How is teammates are how is teammates supporting? Oh uh, man, Par Parker, uh, I, I love that guy. You know what I mean? That's my brother. And just being able to be there for him at a time like this is, is very crucial. And um, I told him whatever he needs, I'm there for him because like he, like he's a brother now. He's a part of the Alabama Brotherhood. So I treat him as such. He's still been around in the weight room now. Yeah.
when you see from the, the running backs, the guys are going to be walking for them Saturday, how they come out? I'm very excited for all of them because everybody's getting better. Like, so I'm, I'm seeing so much growth from everybody, especially uh, Richard. Richard used to be, he used to see a hole and hit, um, even if it wasn't the right one. So now he's, he's been a little bit more patient. He's really um, re reading everything. I'm, I'm very excited to see him perform, just as obviously. And then, you know, Jam, Jam. Whenever he's gotten the game, he, he's been a he's been a force. So I'm excited to see him get more reps this year. Nick Saban will be here for the captain's ceremony. Right anytime Saturday. Yeah. Do you guys know if you're going to be seeing him in the team or any talking to him? Uh, I'm not sure, but it, it would be great if I am in the Have you talked to him since the last I have. I've seen him at the Tennessee game. I've seen him at the Tennessee game. I spoke to him for a quick second. I asked him how he was enjoying retirement, and he said he loved it. And I haven't um, seen a bigger smile on his face since then, so I'm very happy for him that he's been able, able to enjoy this time with his family. What's been your advice to the young guys about like, what uh, is right now? Um, just take it one play at a time. Take it in for sure, because my first A day, I. I remember my first three plays, my heart was beating out of my chest. I'm like, I'm really playing in Brian Denny Stadium right now. So just telling them to find their rhythm, just take a deep breath and just go one play at a time. Don't don't make this moment bigger than what it is. You know, it's an A day. So just go out there performing, show the coaches and the nation what you have. Does it sound like the format will be the same in terms of you know, Crimson? We really haven't gotten into that yet. So um, I'll, I'll be excited to see how we do everything.